Yo, I'm back, it's Rico. Back with another review. We got the Jordan Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort. Let's get it. The collab didn't do it for the culture, then we can. Behind the Jordan 1, favorite shoe, signature shoe, push the dunk in the bin. Damn, this shit was fire. Best Jordan to ever exist came in a mobile of OG colorways. Went from the high to the mid to the 85 to the zoom, and now we've got deep. The main inspiration behind this shoe is obviously London. You can tell by the colors, the grays, it's the foggy weather, bro. You look at this, I see London. I look outside, I see this. The pink on the inside, obviously. You know what it symbolizes. The Jakes, bro. Pigs, you get me? Ah. Inside, it's got like a kind of like Kevlar, off-white thing. I don't even know what it's called. Coming like Velcro. Naughty. Obviously some similar sneakers. Obviously the London Air Max. Yo. Exact same colorway. Blue, gray. London Dunk, Yo. blue, gray. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, very similar. Another similar colorway to this would be the metallic Japan Jordan ones. Yo. They're kind of close. Maybe even the shadows add a little bit of black. So this is a bit of a mad one because I look at the shoe and I see grey shorts in the summer. And I look at it again. I see blue jeans in the winter. I look at it again. I just, I just don't know. It's a bit mad, but I always want to say blue, like grey shorts, white tee, carnival vibes, but I feel like it needs a bit more. But that's the thing, I can't wear jeans and cover it up the tongue because the tongue is like, it's like a, it's like a part of the shoe, bruv. So I don't know. I'm just gonna have to give it the standard schmandard. Blue jeans, white tee, casual, pop in, pop in. Let's get into the ratings, durability. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. This new Zoom Comfort version of the Jordan 1, looking hella durable. The material on the toe box is looking like it's gonna crease, but you can just iron the babies out. This swoosh, bro, you just said bulletproof, bro. What is this? So for durability, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it, I normally give Jordan 1 to 7, so I'm gonna give it a cheeky 8. Wearability, I don't know, because I found it so hard earlier to put it together. Because obviously I could just say green tech fleece. Man could just say that, and it would run either way. Man them can't talk to me when it comes to the text fleece wave. Always have cap if you know me realistically. But um, I don't know, bruv. Wearability, that's a tough one. It's been a tough one with the shoe. I'm gonna say seven, nah, six. Six, because it's almost too nice. It's like you don't even wanna wear it, bruv. I'm surprised with the hype, you know. It's a London Jordan 1. I feel like it didn't get the hype it deserved. Like at first, to be honest, without seeing the shoe, to me it was just a Reebok high, it wasn't an OG high. I didn't really want it as much. But in hand, it's quite nice, bro. But I feel like the hype wasn't as high because it wasn't an OG one, so I'm gonna give the hype five out of 10. Cultural impact, I'm gonna have to give it, I'm gonna give it a two because it, it made an old head like me, who just likes Jordan 1 high OGs, kind of look into the shoe. And I'm gonna give it an extra point, so I'm gonna give it two and a half, maybe, you know. Two, I might be pushing it, but two and a half, because it's London. Now, the rarity, I heard stories that this was a myth to get, you know. Especially how it's a London shoe. But I don't know, because it wasn't first hand, I wasn't chasing it like that. So my one island, I carried on, so I'm gonna say the rarity out of 10 is probably a seven. I feel like it's cold. It makes man actually change my opinion on Jordan 1s and not actually think, yo, it's not OG high, I don't want it. So I'm gonna say it's cold. I'm gonna say it's cold. And in that regard, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10, bro. I'm gonna give it higher than I normally give shoes. It's changed my mindset. It's a London shoe. Colorway is very really exhausted. Thanks guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy Rico, aka Tosper, aka London man. <laughs>